Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. Today I'm going to be constructing a hand-tied bouquet in this beautiful colour palette of soft pink. So for those of you who haven't met me before, my name is Debbie and Triangle Nursery here like to present some lovely ideas for you to copy and enjoy yourselves at home. So today we're going to be using everybody's favourite, the peony. This one is Sarah Bernhardt, beautiful soft pale pink colour with an amazing fragrance. Then I'm going to be using some astilbe. This one is Europa. It's really pretty because it adds fantastic texture to a bouquet. It's almost feather-like in its appearance. That's our astilbe. Then we've got some white lysimachia. Now this lysimachia is actually very similar to Veronica, so it's got the same kind of growth pattern. Um, it is slightly phototropic, so bear in mind if you're working with it, it will bend towards the light. That's Lysimachia. And then, for those of you who've met Laura before, her absolute favourite, the Hydrangea. This one's Verena Classic. Beautiful deep green colour. Actually works really well as a foil with the pale pink colour tones we're using. Next, I have some Lysianthus. Now, this one is Alyssa Light Pink. I don't know if you can see, it has a beautiful, almost feathered edge to it. So, really delicate, so pretty, and again, fantastic for adding texture. And next I'm going to add some Alstroemeria. And the lovely thing about Alstroemeria is it has a really long shelf life. So, yeah, a really good one to use in a bouquet. Now, greenery-wise, literally just using two types of foliage, using this really fun and funky Panic Fountain grass, Grey tones which work fantastically well with the pale pink is our eucalyptus. This one is parvifolia. Right, so enjoy.
So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my demonstration of hand tie bouquet with that fantastic colour palette of pale pinks and greens. So as usual, I have some top tips for you. So first top tip is before you put the bouquet together, make sure the flowers are all conditioned properly, at least overnight. And bear in mind that the peonies do sometimes take a little while to fully develop. So you may find that other flowers bloom more quickly than them. So bear that in mind when choosing your selection. Okay, my second top tip, you can actually make this up in advance and store it in a bucket overnight or a couple of days before, before you put the wrapping on if you want to. But just do bear in mind that will also reduce the shelf life um, for the recipient. And third top tip, Obviously you could make this in any colour palette that you wanted. You don't have to just stick with the pinks and greens. All right. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to like us, share us with, with your friends and pop over to our YouTube channel and subscribe for lots more tips, hints and inspirational ideas of designs that you can create for yourself and for family and friends. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.